Okay, so we're here to put on a coupler on a, a 35G. And what this coupler does is when you got a live thumb on the 35G, um, your hydraulics come in here and then there's an adapter here that you can twist and you can turn this. You can see the arrows uh, back and forth here. So right now the arrow is going this way and up. So the flow is this direction. And this um, coupler interchange here, you can twist this and then the arrow is flowing this way and it gives you the flow this way. And the reason why you would do that is um, you've got this running and let's say you want to run a hammer or a post hole digger or something like that. Uh, you can put uh, these uh, couplers on the end to be able to do that. Now, John Deere's had this for quite some time, uh, but what they have just come out with is this new adapter here. So it's got a JIS uh, thread on one side, and then on the bottom side here is a standard SAE thread to go into the coupler. So uh, right now, if you wanted to try to make this happen, you got like three or four different adapters and stuff, and this is a little, little fine thread inside of here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these on um, and show you how to do that and the parts and so forth uh, to get to make that all happen. Now, the reason why uh, they did this is if we take a look at the John Deere on the 110 TLB, I've got a live thumb on here as well. And the way it comes together, it's got a hydraulic line that comes up and I've got the male and female uh, hydraulic couplers up here on top um, to connect up. So if I want to hook up a post hole digger onto this unit, I undo these couplers up on top, run the, the lines for the post hole digger up through there and connect them. And it's a little bit harder to be able to do that, but once you do that, then sometimes this bleeds off, so I had to take a bungee or something and hold this up while I'm running the postal digger. So on the Mini, it's allowing you to have everything all connected at once. And then the way it works on the 110 TLB is I've got a foot pedal here. The foot pedal is what controls the live thumb operation. So... Uh, you can put a, a hammer on this if you wanted to, but that would mean you're always holding down on the foot pedal uh, to make that work. So this new coupler that they have on a Mini allows you to have this always connected uh, because you're pretty much, once the thumb goes on there, you don't want to take it off. And, uh, and then you can add a pulse hole digger or um, a hydraulic hammer. Now on the 35, uh, let me show you back over here on the 35. So now on the 35, uh, down here, they have um, a switch that if you want to have a live hammer, we're constantly running. So once you turn it on, it just stays flowing. You turn this valve. So you can see that it's like at uh, 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock position, which is just a standard open-close um, with using the thumb adapter. But if you want a hammer so that when you start it, it constantly flows, you twist that and then that'll flip it back over to a hammer mode. Um, so that's pretty much how that works. Okay, so let's go back over here. Let's get this thing connected up and uh, show you how that works. And I'll put in the part numbers uh, for these as well. Uh, because the one coupler piece that we're going to put in, this is about 19 bucks from John Deere. Um, but these male and female ends, um, they charge, I think it's like 60 or $70 for these, which is crazy. But um, I found a site that's a OEM for this, and they're about 42 bucks a pop, so about half price. So I'll put the links for that uh, down below. Okay, so let's get this thing taken apart and put together. Oh yeah, it's leaking a little bit. And it'd be about my luck I got this backwards, but it's just a different way to control that thumb either way. The part for this is the same part number, as you can see between both sides. It's the same part number, and what they've done is it's the same piece is just taken over and twisted 
and then put on the other side. Now, if you don't have, if you want to add a live thumb uh, to your Mini, you can probably buy this adapter, connect this up to your existing Mini, and then just weld on this plate on the back, screw this in, and you can have the double attachments. It's like this connection up on top, and then you had to get a little short little hose, and put it in, you had this thing dangling, so I'm glad they at least have made this part. But I just wish they didn't make it so unique with this JIS adapter with it. Okay, so there we have it. Now, the way, again, the way this works is that you can kind of see the little arrows here. So the arrows are going straight this way and one up. So the, the flow is coming from here and going that direction. Now, if I want to change that flow... I just got to remember I have to do this on both sides. And now you can see the arrows. There's an arrow going this way. There's nothing here. But you got an arrow up and arrow down. So the flow is coming straight through. And if I go over onto this side, it's doing pretty much the same thing. Now, the re the, one of the things that they told me is that with this coupler or this um, interchange here, it's supposed to prevent anything bleeding off so that once you uh, switch this, uh, this will not bleed off and your thumb won't drop. Um, so I'm hoping that's going to happen. If not, I'll have to rig up a bungee or something that I can use to keep that up in the air. Um, but they're telling me that that's this design is to ensure that that doesn't bleed off so and again you can see the arrows here so you got one arrow pointing this way which is nothing out here and you got the arrow going up and down so that the flow is that direction so we'll just move this back so that the thumb will work and do the same thing over here just move this back And now this is pretty much all connected. So now we're pretty much all set. So we can put a hammer on here if we wanted to, or we can put a um, post hole digger, which I've got. Uh, we can just stick right on there and uh, makes it really easy uh, to connect uh, everything up and I don't have to disconnect my thumb. Okay, so now that we've got everything all hooked up and we made it sure we had our valve going in the right direction. We do have some air in the line a little bit here because we had opened this system up a little bit uh, to put that in. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to um, start the machine up, make sure that this is nice and snug, and then the air should auto bleed out of there and uh, we should be all set. Okay. Okay, so got the air. You can feel how tight these lines are now. Everything is all bled out, and nothing is going to go anywhere. All right. What do you think, Nixie? You going to help me out on the next job? Yeah? You going to help me out on the next job? How about you, Dylan? Yeah? You guys going to check things out? All right. So there we have it. I'd like to say thank you for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to hit a like and subscribe. I'll leave the description of all the parts and so forth that I use uh, to put all this together down below. And um, we'll see you on a job site. Have a great day.